Hey, what's up? It's John from Coding Addict, and welcome to the latest iteration of my MERN course, where we're going to create a job tracking application called Jobify. The main goal of this app is to track your job search, basically keeping tabs on how many applications you have sent out each month. And hopefully this will help you stay consistent in your job search. Before we cover the main features of the app, let me just quickly mention a few things. For starters, if you ever want to reference the complete project, the URL is jobify.live. Again, the URL is jobify.live. Also, this is the second iteration of the course. And the reason why I decided to re-record the content is because quite a few libraries have come out with new versions. So in this course iteration, we're going to use Vite to build our front-end project unlike the create react app, which we used in the previous iteration, react router 6.4 plus for front end routing, basically will use the latest features like loaders and actions. We'll also use react query to cache our requests, Mongo 7 and express validator on a server, along with tons of other cool new features and approaches. Now, when it comes to deployment, we're going to use a platform called Render. I have also added quite a few additional features to the app. For example, dark mode, image upload, and as a side note, we'll store our images eventually on Cloudinary. And additionally, in this iteration, users will have roles, and there will be an admin-only route functionality on both the server and the front end. As far as the application itself, there is a landing page. There's also a login and demo user. So when we navigate to a register page, of course, user can register here for the application. Then once the user creates the account, we navigate to a login one. And here, like I said, there's also a demo user option. So essentially, I'm going to log in right now as the admin user. But at the very end of the video, I'll also show you how the demo user works. So now let me just provide my credentials. And once I'm good to go, I'll click on submit. This is going to be our dashboard. So in here, we'll have a sidebar as well as the nav bar. Notice how we can control whether we'll display the light mode or dark mode. In here, we have an option to upload the image. Also, this is going to be the username. So of course, if I change it here in a profile, I'll right away see the changes and we can also log out. So this is where we can add the job. And in here, I'm just going to say test and test. Then let's click on submit. Notice this is going to be my latest job. We can also nicely search for jobs. So for example, I'm just going to be looking for jobs where the value is interview. So this is going to return me 31 jobs. And of course, I can implement other search options as well. All the way in the bottom, we'll have the pagination. So we'll paginate on a server, but we'll also set up nicely buttons on the front end. And what's really cool, we'll actually cover two options. One option where we display all of the buttons, and then the second option where we display only certain amount of buttons. So what am I talking about? Notice how total I have 10 pages, but we'll nicely add the functionality where we only display five pages at a time. So for example, if you have 100 pages, you'll still display only five buttons over here. And of course, we have prev and next as well. Then we have stats. So essentially, we can check how many applications are pending, interviews, jobs decline, and all that. So then, you know what, let me go back to all jobs and also showcase that we can edit and delete. So for example, I go over here, and I'll provide something more meaningful. I'll say the position is front end, then the company is going to be Apple. And you know what, I'll say that there's an interview, let me click notice I have job edited successfully. And notice the values right now. So of course, I have front end Apple. And I also have the date when this instance was created. And in order to complete the CRUD functionality, we also can delete. So now again, I have 99 jobs in my list. I already showed you the stats as far as the profile. Like I said, we can change these values around. For example, I can be Peter right now. And of course, I can change the last name and 
rest of the good stuff. So now let me go back to John here. And let me also showcase that we can change the picture. So let me go over here. As a side note, we will upload this to a Cloudinary. And not only that, we'll actually use the buffer approach. Now, if you're somewhat iffy on that, don't worry. Once we implement it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So let me go over here. Notice this is going to be, again, the previous image. And if we're successful, of course, now I can see the latest image. Then also, I'll show you how to implement admin functionality. So effectively, each user is going to have a role. Now, most users are going to have role user. But if there's an admin user, I'll show you how to restrict access on the server as well as the front end. So this admin page, only the user where the role is admin can see. And in here, we're just showcasing how many users and how many total jobs our application has. But of course, eventually you can set up more stuff. So let me log out right now. Let me showcase the demo user. Notice here, if I go with explore app, effectively this user can take a test drive, they can explore the application. But since I don't want anyone to mess with these jobs, all the CRUD functionality is restricted to a demo user. So for example, if I'm a demo user, I can nicely search for applications. But if I'll try to, for example, delete, I'll get back demo user read only. So they cannot do that. The same goes for edit. If let's say I provide some value here, this is not going to work. Notice demo user read only. And the same goes for profile. If someone wants to change the awesome name of Zippy to a Peter, nope, cannot do. Since such action is restricted to the demo user. And once we know what we're going to be building, let's get to work.